Welcome back everyone, History with Hilbert here, and today I'm making this video because I'd like to share with you the music of my favourite band, Baldur's Draumar. Now, Baldur's Draumar you may know from the Norse or Germanic mythology, it's a scene from the mythology, but it's the name of a Frisian band from the province of Friesland in the Netherlands who sing songs in Frisian about the history of Frisia and the Frisian people, which is of course why I like it. Now, I don't only listen to them because their lyrics and their texts are about Frisia's history, but also because I really do enjoy the music that they make. Now why am I making this video to promote this band? Have I been paid for them? Am I being secretly sponsored? Am I a sellout? No, none of these things. I'm making this video because on the 7th of October, which is fairly soon, Baldur Straumar are releasing their album, which is called Van Frieslands Verlena, which means of Friesland's past. Um, which they are releasing, which is a completely acoustic album. And I'd like to promote this because, as I said, they sing in Frisian, and Frisian is a minority language, which faces several threats. But these guys, Baldur's Traumar, are four lads who sing in Frisian about Frisian culture and Frisian history. So I think it'd be great to get them out there a bit, because they are doing a lot to keep Frisian relevant and to keep especially young people involved in Frisian, learning Frisian, and making it a living language, keeping it a living language. So in this video I'd like to play a few songs of theirs, not the entire songs, just little clips. I hope the band doesn't mind me doing this, but as I said, the reason I'm doing this is because they do a lot of good work for the Frisian language and Frisian culture and especially the history which I find fascinating. They were actually the ambassadors for Westfriesland in um, the Frisian meeting the summit on Helgoland a few years back and they really do play an important role in keeping the Frisian language alive. So that's why I'm basically Making this video. Now I hope you'll enjoy this video and that you're listening to some of the songs that I'm going to play. The first two are songs that are going to appear on their new album that they released on their YouTube as a preview. <laughs> The first song there was called Machna Frisia, which translates from Latin as Greater Frisia, and it's this idea of a much bigger Frisian kingdom that spread up right the way from sort of the southern Netherlands right the way up along the North Sea coast up until the border with Denmark, which Frisia was back in the day a lot larger than the modern day province. Now, how unified this Greater Frisia was is the subject of much debate. It goes right the way from it being one solid entity to it being a fractious matchwork of different kingdoms that all sort of spoke a relatively similar language but in reality they had very little in common apart from that um, but the first song then is about this greater Frisia and what the lyrics are which I played are in reference to the Battle of Köln which was fought between King Redbart and a, the Frankish King Charles Martel and it's actually the only time in history that Charles Martel was defeated and it was by the Frisians which isn't bad, to be honest, when you consider the Frisians are this North Sea people, you know, stuck against the coastline. The second song there was about 
two ravens. And the two ravens are obviously Hugin and Munin, the two ravens of the god called Odin or Vodun or Veda in Frisian. And the lyrics are about, obviously, Njochen Vralden, Njochen Nachten Kalt, means uh, nine worlds, nine days cold, which is in reference to when um, the god Woden hung from Yggdrasil for nine days to find wisdom, which is when he picked up the runes. Now this next song is quite possibly my favourite song by Baldur's Draumar, probably my favourite acoustic song for sure, and it just hits me right in the feels every time it's one of those songs. Now it's called Hardegrim's Vertreet, and it's about King Redbad, and he was a very famous Frisian king known outside of Frisia as well, one of the last pre-Christian pagan kings who resisted the Franks and Christendom for a very long time. It's from the album Altgillason, which means son of Altgills, Altgills being Redbad's father, and Baldus Draumar, I think it was 2015 that they wrote this entire album, and it was completely about the life and times of this king, of King Redbad, and it's all in Frisian, and this was one of two acoustic numbers numbers on that album and it's just one of my favorite i hope you guys are going to enjoy it as well en vei om tid kjør eg hem av sten eg fyr sin hånd opp min skade kjenn hem for sten hei kommt meg helgen var når igjen det Mat ik dwaal Het verhaal van kening Redsbaat On elze nie On elze nie Een droog jaar On elze nie Een droog jaar Besef stiet En zeven stieren Doe zelfs die estas Harden Maar één ding weet ik, dat hier we geleverd, de helderroom van de deren. Hij hier de wie ziet, hij hier het verstaan, en wie de kening van uw mooie vreeske land. Zoon van Art Gillis, no wonder het skilt, wie wie is als kening en in de streets haar wilt. En die namen zal meer vergeven, want in elk ze vries zal een stek van die besteden. En toen je later, dan zullen ze nog roepen, heil om kening redbaat. One thing I should mention is that I put the translations in myself just of the Frisian and that some of them were very hard to translate directly, especially while trying to remain, uh, keep a bit of the rhythm of the song and trying to transfer the message as well as trying to transfer it literally. So actually in the middle section where he says Besin stiert, Sleven stiere, Dosel stiert, Sharen, that um, is actually from the Havamol, which is this um, Norse text which was found in Old Norse, which means the words of the High One. And that text which Baldur's Draumar are singing as sort of the uh, bridge in between the verse and the chorus in Hadagrim's Vertreet is from the Hovermall, but then in Frisian. So I've translated besit as meaning cattle, which isn't the same thing. Besit in Frisian means possessions, um, but the original text refers to cattle, so that was seen as possessions. So I've used the Hovermall's text rather than a direct translation from Frisian in that bit and in other bits that the translation is as close as I could get it but sometimes it's quite hard to do that especially with the lyrics that Baldur's Traumar are singing because they sing in very nice Frisian of which is a little older in nature like for example Nightdeum or Stalker terms like these which are correct Frisian absolutely but I think most Frisians probably don't use them as often 
but I've tried to translate it as well as I can. Now as well as releasing their album on the 7th of October, which is a completely acoustic album, I actually know Baldur's Traumat because it is a metal band as well, it plays sort of folk metal music, and they, in the metal music they sing in Frisian as well. So I'd like to play some of uh, little clips of some of my favourite songs, because they do have obviously Old Gilla Sorn, as I said, is an album where two of the songs were acoustic, but the rest of them are metal tunes, and I really do quite like this. It might not be your style of music, which is completely fine. Music is subjective. Some people love some things and hate other things, and vice versa. But I really quite like this. It's good music if you you know in the gym lifting weights. It's really good music for that. It's good when you need to get something done, that kind of thing. And I just love the texts because you know they're all about you know Franks rolling around on the floor with blood coming out of their eyes and Frisians hacking away at people in a shield wards. You can probably imagine it's my kind of thing. So I'm just going to play a few songs and I hope you enjoy them. So if you've enjoyed any of what you've heard here today, then please do go over and check out Baldur's Traumor, the YouTube channel, and have a think about supporting them, because as I said, they do a lot of good work for the Frisian language, and the more that we support people who are helping the Frisian language, the more we are helping the Frisian language, and of course it's linked to history and periods that I talk about a lot, which is why I thought I should cover it here. Now if you do go over, please do give them a Mike Walur and a Friesland Bopper, and maybe even say that History with Hilbert sent you there, that would be pretty awesome. So thanks very much for watching and do have a think about investing in the album when it comes out on October the 7th, uh, which I will link in the description below to some other songs of theirs and their website if you want to find out more about them. Now about the topics in this video, if you want me to, then leave a comment in the comment section below and I'd be happy to cover any of the history or mythology in a separate video. So everyone, thanks for watching, I'm History with Hilbert and I will leave you now with some more final Baldur's Traumar. Irene wan ik vervelen, my dear. Zit ik op een heuvel, maar ja, wie's geweer? Dus zeg ik een rutter die drie als een dief. Wie maar een geintje, ik rjocht op zijn lief. Ja, ik zie wapen, die ja, in mijn hand. 
Skat klonk jaloer door Bormans in laag Kinder bedraf, kinder, Rutter, Vodel De Kaap, Vodel, De Kaap, Vodel